Hi guys, Gentleman Gamer here again, another game. This one is Arizona Sunrise, so this is the start screen. Um, this game is a zombie apocalypse type game. I will be playing the campaign soon enough and uh, bringing that to you guys over the internet. But for now, I'm going to show you the horde mode. I have played this before. So we'll uh, get straight into it and let's see how many zombies we can kill, right? So the aim of this game in the campaign part is for you simply to get out to escape. You need to call people in a helicopter using some radio, but that's a bit further into the game, obviously, right at the end. But this part here, this part, is a zombie horde. So, get your gun. You'll get some ammo here every round, and you start. So I'm going to be playing a couple of rounds today. Um, I've got to head to bed soon. I've got to work in the morning. But still have some time to show you guys just how bad I am at zombie games. First wave, guys. So there, there are sometimes runners. Yes. and crawl towards me. Oh yeah, I've got the ammo. So that's the ammo belt there. Shows me how much ammo I've got. I'm gonna quickly jump over here. Grab this, because it's used for health. I'll chuck it there. Now I do have grenades, however they... I've had some bad experiences with them. out of the container. So we got a hundred. Have some fun with this, guys. Let's get uh, set up in a prime position for the next round. I think there's a new gun next round. I'll just move whatever that was on my desk. There we go. Revolver. You can also holster a gun.
uh, these guys, the helmets. Okay, so that is the end of the first five rounds. Every five rounds, it'll stop um, and it will. I guess I can burn these barrels up because every five rounds, it also replenishes the barrels. So it's um it's quite a nice game. Almost sixty four percent accuracy. I really shouldn't waste all these bullets, hey. I mean I do get to keep I get to keep these bullets for the next couple of rounds. Just like I get to take those back. Uh I'll hold for that gun. I'm not hugely fond of this. It's only a six shooter. So I have to constantly reload it. But, um, anyway, I guess we can, uh, I've got 100 health, so there's no point eating. So I'll show you how these grenades look. So you pick it up, you pull the pin, and then you chuck it, and hopefully don't chuck it somewhere close enough to cause damage to yourself, because that's what I've done very many times in the past. I wonder if I can chuck it. I don't know. Alright, so let's load all the bullets. Make sure this one's completely loaded just in case I need it. And let's go to the next round. Round six time, guys. Grab all these bullets. Make sure no one's running. Okay guys, this is where I lie. And that's why I rely on one gun move. Alright, already on 35 health, so I'll grab that. Now I do like the Desert Eagle. However, wide in the chest. Let's put that away. Let's reload this one. Alright, we have eight. Let's reload. Let's go for the headshots, guys. They're the fun ones. Okay, 300 is the max ammo you could have anyway.
Mm. Uh, I'll just use my gun. I'll get that guy lost. Alright, 10 out of 10, I think is a uh, lovely. Let's move back up. this should we explore while they are slowly dying hmm. yeah, bit okay so it looks like that was the end of I was level 10 so I got 230 and I don't mean the dentist now, I'm 59 health. I've got some grenades left to use up. But apart from that, we have survived 10 rounds, guys. It's quite odd to see the guns go through the ground there. I love the look of this so much, but it just doesn't sound the same. And I mean, Sound of this is always good. So I just ah. didn't know you could do that. This sounds good, but it's a six shooter, and I'm not really fond of them. This is good for just in case this one doesn't deal it. So I think it's 72 bullets this one though. Let's go to level uh, 11 to 15. It's getting night time, and by the time it actually gets to night. I don't know if I want to still be here. Okay, died. guys I might uh, end it there I've had fun but uh, 10 rounds I'm I'm happy with that um, I have in the past got to level 20 on this but uh, I'm just apparently not as good tonight as I am or as I was before so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this is um, not exactly a review on this game but I will say it is an amazing game. If you have VR yourself, definitely get this game because the aiming is just so great. When you aim perfectly, like you'll hit what you're aiming. 
to hit. Hell, sometimes you can just hit them without even like properly aiming at them. Well, I mean, if you have a decent sense of area, I might hit that shot right there. Problem is, I can't teleport out there. So, this is um, the horde mode is quite a fun one. Um, you just constantly go. I would kind of like to see checkpoints. So every five, or maybe every five, it stops like this, and every ten, it actually has like a checkpoint, so you can go back to level ten and then. Just constantly try and work your way through all the levels. So level five, one to five, which is this now, is sort of like the morning. Then from five, uh, from six to ten, it is like midday, and then from eleven to fifteen, it's sort of evening. And I've done fifteen to twenty, and it is night time, and I hate it. It is quite dark, and you know, you just can't see as well. And for me, I guess I can't shoot as well if I can't see. I wonder if I can. I guess I could pick these up and like, I don't know, let's see if I can reach that, yep. And uh, put that back in, fine. There we go. Uh, Let's cook the, the bottles. Make some hot water. Let's see if uh, this works. That's pretty cool. All sort of bounces off there. Yeah, no, this, this is quite a fun game, especially to enhance your situational awareness. Just the awareness of, um, you know, you've, you've always got to look around. And, and that's another thing, actually. You can't just travel. Like, the normal teleporting in, let's say, Fallout 4, and uh, if you've seen my channel, you possibly have seen me playing Fallout 4 VR. But with Fallout 4 VR, you can just, if I wanted to teleport on top of that box from here, I could. It would just teleport straight there. However, with this game, you can't teleport somewhere where there's an obstacle in the way, which is good because it means that if there's a big barrier somewhere and, you know, you're not meant to get past, you, you can't, like, it, let's say it sort of has a snake pattern where you need to go through all this snake pattern to get the zombies, but there is stuff in the way. This way, you sort of just can't teleport over the thing and skip a lot of the map. You have to go around to get around here. And you, and you can't teleport on top of things. It just goes to the bottom. So, um, yeah, it's been good, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Gentleman Gamer signing off. Be prepared to get killed. Because I am not going to pick up any of that ammo. This is my outro. Think of it as a, a Deadpool counting down the ammo. I don't see her coming. Got uh, however many in the gun, and then seven left on my belt. I wonder if I, oh, I made it through wave one. Almost started with this pitch. Ah, uh, I have a feeling this is the round that I die. There's none over there. That's good. Okay, last seven guys, count them down with me. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Huh. Looks like we may actually get to the next round after all. So, oh, God damn it. Maybe we won't, maybe we will. Are you ready for this, guys? Well, I guess I'll just have to uh, overkill. See ya! Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.